Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58, the channel that reviews wigs for the mature woman. I am back a little early because <laughs> I actually got something in the mail and um, I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I got my third DeVita wig in the mail. And let me just explain, I really do love this wig and I can't help it. Now the second one that I got, the one that was the wine color, the cinnamon wine color, I actually had that one up on sale on my eBay page because I wasn't as crazy about that one once I got it. So I got another one. One of my subbies had mentioned that she wanted to see what DR Caramel looked like and so guess what? I got it. Here she is. Yay! This is Davida in DR Caramel. And what I really love about this wig is um, the different blondes. Um, the other one was more uh, like a golden blonde, where this is almost like an ash blonde, even close to a bleach blonde. So um, I'm going to put her on. So one of the things, the first thing I noticed about this one when I got this one is that this one um, is big head friendly. Believe it or not, the other two were kind of tight. But this one is not. This one is like really comfortable. I don't have the straps adjusted or anything. And you just saw I don't have a wig grip on. Now you just, you cannot tell me she's not gorgeous. I'm just addicted. Uh, let me show you her on the side. Yep, yeah, there she is on the side. Let me show you her in the back. You guys just you don't understand. <laughs> You just don't understand how much I love this wig and how much I've been looking for something just like this for a long, long time. It's the right length. It's a great color. It's got these great curls. It's, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just addicted. I just am. And I just, I love her and I just can't help it. I just, I can't. Now she had baby hairs that were dark and this time I plucked them out. And let me tell you, when you want to get rid of baby hairs, don't cut them. Pluck them out. And the reason you need to pluck them out is because they'll leave little black nubs in the front. And those things are going to be harder to get out than if you actually just took the time to pluck them out. So anyway, um, just for those of you who are sick of me and my DaVita love, I actually am going to show you the two Bona wigs that I've got, okay? So um, much as I hate to take this off, I'm going to show you Bona. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I'll be back, baby. I'll be back. Just, just relax. Just sit there. Mommy, mommy will be right back. Okay. So, if you guys saw my clothing haul, um, then you saw this Bona wig. This is one of the ones that I wore. Um, I had on another Davita. Actually, I had two Davitas on, and I had this Bona wig, and I had um, Tiana. So this is the Bona wig that I had on. And you notice that the color here in this lighting looks a little different than it did on the day that I did the video. I don't know what it is, but depending on the lighting, these wigs are gonna look different even when you um, see them on different reviews. So I'm gonna put this one on again so that you can see what this one looked like. Um, I mean, she's a bob. And the face framing part of these wigs, especially these bobs, is really pretty. And what I mean by that, and I'll just show you a close-up. What I mean by that is these colors here on the edge. These edge, edge colors, I guess you could call them face framing colors, but these edge colors are really pretty on these wigs. And uh, yeah, they're doing a really good job with that. So um, yeah. So this is, this is that Bona that I had on. Um, let me just adjust this just a little bit. Okay, so here she is on the side. This is her on the side. You know, nice, um, nice asymmetrical cut. Here she is in the back. Yeah, nice in the back. And uh, yeah, like I said, um, but the difference is with this particular wig, and I'm just gonna move these baby hairs out of the way. With this particular wig and the color that you're seeing here, they have another wig called Cassidy, which you probably heard of, and she is about down here maybe, and you're gonna see more of this face framing, like tipped color in her because she's longer. Unfortunately, they didn't take it up, up high like I would have liked. I would have liked to have seen more of this up higher on this Bona wig so that you could get more of this effect. But I think it's really, really beautiful what they've done. I just, I love it. I really think it's, it's awesome. 
So, in addition to this one, I wanted to try a different color that I saw. I think it was um, Gianna Marguerite and I think Miss Chrissy also had this other color, which I'm going to show you, which is the Buttery Blonde. And that's this one here. This is Buttery Blonde. Now, see, she's got um, some of that uh, too, just the darker color here on the edges, and I really like that. So I'm going to put her on because there's something different that I did to her that I didn't do to these others. Because of the fact that the others were dark rooted, and you guys know how I feel about dark rooting, this wig, this blonde one, actually came with really, really light um, um, roots. So what I did was, instead of using a regular mascara, like a dark one, like black or dark brown, I found a very light brown mascara. And I didn't want to mess up the color blending of this wig, and so I took that lighter mascara, and then I took a, a, a bristle brush, like a dense bristle brush, and I just started brushing it out so I could kind of spread it out, and it made a bigger difference. It's still not that dark rooted, but it's way better than it was when I got it. So um, this one with the baby hairs, I just stuck the, them under here, under the wig too. So let me just put this on so you can see this one on. Yes, yeah, see, you can see these baby hairs here on the side. They're blonde. And to me, I'm like, okay, blonde baby hairs, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could work with it, but you know me. I'm just going to tuck them underneath here because I'm not going to be utilizing those. So, um, yeah, so here she is. Um, yeah, and these blonde ones you're going to find are going to shed more, just so you know. These blonde, because this one is like shedding. And, and, and my baby, she, she sheds too. So here is uh, the Buttery Blonde on, and again, this face framing um, coloring that they've got on here I think is awesome. So let me show you this one up close too, so that you guys can see. See how this color is? It's just really pretty how this color just kind of hangs down here like this. It's just beautiful. And Outre has just done such a great job with these wigs. So here's, the, here's this one on the side. Well, I'm making, I'm making lots of noise here. Here's this one on this side. And then here she is in the back. Yeah, she probably needs to be brushed out a little bit. But yeah, these wigs and these colors that they have come up with are just fabulous because the best thing about that, ladies, for us as older women, we want something quick, something we can throw on, something we can wear to work. We don't want to have to mess with a lot of lace or gluing down or any of that kind of stuff. Um, and this, this series of wigs that they're putting out is just like that. I mean, they have lace, but I mean, once you cut the lace off the front, you're good. Because, you know, it's just, you know, it's just, it's not really a big deal. Because, uh, like, for instance, this one fits pretty snug. I'm a 22 inch head and this one fits pretty snug. So did this other one. It fit pretty snug as well. My new DeVita, as I mentioned earlier, is a more big head friendly than the other two were. I don't know why that is, but the other two were a little tighter. They weren't tight, but they were tighter than this blonde one is. So yeah, so these, I just, I love these. I think they're so beautiful. Um, but I'm gonna take this off because I'm missing my baby. <laughs> So I'm going to put my baby back on. Now the other one um, that I have, the first one that I got, the um, golden, um, the DRFF, I think it's called uh, golden amber or whatever it is. She's resting. <laughs> She's resting because mama's been wearing her out. So yeah, so I'm just going to put this one back on because I'm, I just love this wig and I want to wear it. So yeah. So, oh, and with this one too, um, I got my hot comb. The first time you saw me in the first DeVita wig, instead of using a hot comb, I just had like the little um, curling thing and it wasn't enough. So I took the hot comb and I started just running the hot comb through the front of this, just up here where this filler hair is, and it just made a bigger difference. It just, to me, feels a lot flatter than the first one, so I'm probably going to do the same thing to my um, first DeVita wig because um, I like the, the fact that it's gotten flatter than it was before. Um, I don't even think I put any powder in this one. I may have. But anyway, you guys just don't understand. <laughs> I have been wanting a wig like this for such a long time. Something with beautiful color, with nice curls, the right length, 
a, a good swoop bang is going to get me every time. Oh, I'm just telling you guys, I'm sorry. I had to come back and do another review. Since I had these boner wigs, I thought, oh, I got a good idea. I can show them the boner wigs so I can also show them I need to be. <laughs> anyway, ladies, you know I'm loving this wig. So, um, oh yeah, I wanted to again show you guys these bulbs next to each other because I wanted you to see the different curl, uh, color patterns right next to each other. And again, the lighting is going to be different depending on, you know, who you're watching and that kind of thing. But the fact that they have done such a great job with the color patterns on these wigs is just wonderful. So, uh, yeah, so you guys, you know that this is my thing. I'm loving these wigs. Um, I suggest that you go out and get one if you can find one. Um, if you um, don't like shopping online, there are some beauty supply stores that are um, opening up from what I understand. If you go down to Atlanta, everything is probably open down there. Uh, but I know that here in Charlotte, the Tyson um, Beauty is open, I think, um, for short periods of time or whatever. And they probably have it, but hey, I would just buy it online because that's what I do. I'm sorry. I just love this wig. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, ladies, um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscription bell and all, I mean the subscription button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you guys so much for, who, for you guys who supported me when I did my skincare video. Um, I'm going to try and do more of that kind of thing. But if they keep coming out with wigs like this, I'm not going to have time to do anything else but show you guys these wigs. So, <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, ladies, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good. <laughs> yeah. And so are you. <laughs> See you next time.